Hey, what's up? This is Chris, and this is Letters to a Young Poet in less than three minutes. So Letters to a Young Poet, this is a great book to read if you are an artist, if you are someone who makes things, a writer, anyone who has put something out into the world and then wondered, hey, who's gonna listen to this? Who's gonna watch this thing? Maybe you put out a YouTube video and only three people watched it. Or maybe you write something and only your best friend or your mom reads it. That's where this book came from. Um, there was a guy named Franz Kappis who was thinking these things. And he's like, when am I gonna be good enough? He's like, I've studied, I've put in my work, when am I gonna be good enough? And he writes a very famous poet at the time, Rainer Marie Rilke. He writes Rainer Marie Rilke and he's like, I went to the same college as you. Uh, can you give me some advice? When am, I gonna, when am I gonna be as good as you? And Rainer Marie Rilke writes him back. And that starts letter number one. Uh, here it is in 1903. And they correspond back and forth through, yeah, letters uh, over about like a four year period um, at the beginning of that century. And these are 10 letters that are written only from Rainer Marie Rilke's side, the, the great poet. Um, you get to hear his thoughts on creativity. And I'm gonna bring you a few of those thoughts right now. And if you'd like, you can read the book. It's pretty thin. Uh, it's a great, inspiring read. I've read it a few times. So here we go. So here's some advice from Rainer Marielke that hopefully you can start using. So in letter number one, Franz writes and he says, hey, Rilke, uh, are my poems any good? Here, read them. And here is what Rainer Marie Rilke writes. He says, you ask whether your poems are good. You send them to publishers. You compare them with other poems. You are disturbed when certain publishers reject your attempts. Well now, since you have given me permission to advise you, I suggest that you give all that up. You are looking outward, and above all else, that you must not do now. No one can advise and help you, no one. I mean, how relevant is this? It sounds a lot like the problems that we have right now. Like, did I get a view count on YouTube? Is anybody watching it? Uh, is anybody tweeting or retweeting me, right? You're always looking outward. And he's saying, you need to stop that. And he says, the only way to go is within. Search for the cause. Find the impetus that bids you to write and put it to the test. Does it stretch out its roots in the deepest place of your heart? And can you avow that you would die if you were forbidden to write? So that's what he's saying. That's, that's how you know above all that you are a writer. If you would die, if you were forbidden to do this, try to find that within you. Otherwise, go do something else. If you're looking for answers in books and if you're looking for answers in life and on the internet, Rilke would give you the following advice about looking for answers. He would say, try to love the questions themselves. Here in letter number four, love the questions like locked rooms and like books written in a foreign language. Do not now look for the answers. They cannot be given to you because you could not live them. It is a question of experiencing everything. At the present, you need to live the questions. And apparently I put that in crayon. On the importance of finding alone time in order to foster creativity, Rilke gives the following advice in letter number six. He says, what you really need is simply this, aloneness. Great inner solitude. To go within and for hours and not to meet anyone, that is what one needs to attain. To be lonely as one was as a child, while adults were moving about entangled with things that seemed big and important. Because the grown-ups look so busy and because one cannot understand any of their doings. Well, that, that must be the goal. To look as the world as if you were a child and to understand the superficiality of those things around you. To find your aloneness. All right, hope you got something from Letters to a Young Poet. If you'd like, please check it out. It's a great read. And also, I talk about this on the On Books podcast where I talk about a new book every week. I go much more in depth and, and do a reading from a few of the letters on that. So you can check that out at on-books.com. And if you want more videos like this, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just right there.